to dehorn these rhinos, we've got to knock them down. Now we're going to be using drugs which are incredibly potent. M99 is our major drug, all right? Um, a drop of M99, unfortunately, is lethal to humans. So you need to be really careful around the areas that we've used darts or have darts, okay? Secondly, we partially wake these rhino up when I get to the rhino. We use a drug called bitorphanol, which is a partial agonist antagonist. In other words, it half wakes the animal up, but doesn't keep completely wake it up. The reason for that is that they breathe a lot better, because M99 suppresses their breathing horrendously. Reversal, by the way, is almost complete reversal. Um, apart from a little bit of tranquilizer that's in the dart, um, there's generally not a big, big problem. We are as it seems awfully traumatic and it does it's certainly a traumatic looking process the rhino don't seem to be particularly troubled afterwards and there are a lot of ethical issues and other behavioral issues that we may well have to address over time but the research so far says that it makes very little difference with a 
closed population of rhino, as long as all of the rhinos are done, and that you don't favour certain bulls over other ones by leaving their horns, and that's obviously a big issue in some cases. But ultimately, um, the whole idea behind dehorning is to reduce the risk. We've now reached a point where these reserves are at their absolute um, limit as far as being able to spend on security any further. There's no more money to put into security. They've got as much as they can into it. We can't improve security. So we still have the risk. And what can we do? Well, let's reduce the risk factor. And the way to reduce the risk factor is to take their horns off. It makes it less attractive. And if you look at it as a, as a, um, a gain versus risk balance, at the moment when you leave all of the horns on, the poachers are gaining. We take off the, the horns, we now have, we shift the balance and we've reduced our risk and it's really a temporary issue, there's no doubt. It's not going to last more than a couple of years, two, two and a half years and we're probably going to have to start thinking of re-trimming some of those horns to, to make them less attractive again. Um, but it's going to buy us time and we hope that in that time period various political issues around the trade in horn um, can be resolved one way or the other so that we know where we stand and um, it should buy us the, the extra time we need without having to spend a fortune which most of these reserves just don't have on added security.